Well, school board meetings have gotten so out of control lately that police are often called to the scene. The National School Board Association now saying that these threats could be a form of domestic terrorism. And we have seen things get heated right here in Central Florida. In Brevard County, parents were cleared out of the room, some of them getting into a fight with a school board member. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi joins us live. And Dave, the governor says parents have a right to sound off during these meetings. That's right, Luann, he did. And he also believes that this is just another way that the feds are trying to intimidate parents. He believes that this is something that doesn't rise to the concern of the Department of Justice. The reason to do that um, is to intimidate parents, is to squelch dissent, is to have them shut up. Governor Ron DeSantis didn't mince words, saying he wants the feds to stay out of Florida. This after the Department of Justice's announcement that they will be investigating claims of intimidation and threats made towards school board members. So they have a right to hold people accountable. Uh, they have a right to voice their opinions, particularly on some of these uh, some of these very, very key issues. Brevard School Board member Jennifer Jenkins feels some parents go too far while making their voices heard. She tells Fox 35 that she's been threatened, followed around in her car, and has even had people behind her home. Recent school board meetings have been heated. At one, two people were arrested, and most recently, the public was asked to leave. They care more about their political rhetoric than supporting public education. Governor DeSantis says local law enforcement can help ensure peaceful debates, going on to say that the state won't let the DOJ or anyone else infringe upon parents' choice, and some parents are just as concerned. Ironing your kids' clothes, making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and the FBI could come knocking at your door because you said something, not violence, but you said something that they deemed was intimidating. Now, coming up at six, I'll have reaction from the Brevard County School Board on some of these claims made by the governor. In Vieira, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News. Dave, thank you.